LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to install your keys onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see there's two hooks or holes at the uh, top here. There are actually two hooks. Um, at the bottom, there's one hook, but it's larger. So make sure to look at the different keys because they can change position. Sometimes the single hook can be at the top, at the sides, or at the bottom, like in this case. So the position of that is going to determine the position of these pieces here. What we're going to do now is click these two pieces together and make one piece by um, determining which position they're going to go facing. So I'll start out with the larger piece here. You can see that at the bottom it has the bottom corners. It has two sticks hanging out. Then at the top corners you can see it has two holes. Well, those two holes are going to go wherever the uh, two hooks are. In this case, they're up, so we're going to put the two hooks up. I mean, the two holes up. Now, make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that by feeling underneath the bottom sidebars, the vertical ones. If you feel a bump there with your nail, that bump has to face the keyboard, and on top is just uh, smooth. So now you know the position for this piece, put it down in the right position, you get the next piece which is this, and you can see this has two top corners, uh, two holes on the top corners also, two sticks in the middle that are going to go clicked into the larger plastic piece, and at the bottom it has a bar, that bar is going to go clamped onto the uh, uh, larger hook wherever it may be. In this case it's down so we're going to put that piece down as well. Now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down by looking at this piece um, through the side kind of like that. So you can see that the, um, the bottom bar, in this case it's to the right since we turned the whole piece it's kind of facing down so you don't want this piece to go facing up like that what we're trying to do is make the whole piece um, rest on that bar so you want it to go down okay now you know the position for both pieces what you want to do is put the small piece over the large piece and put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the larger piece. Once you have that, you uh, you grab onto the bottom bar and you stretch the larger piece away from the small piece in order for the side sticks that are on the small piece to go into the uh, holes that are in the larger piece just like that. Now you grab onto that part and you do the same to the other side. You stretch the large piece this way or away from the uh, small piece in order for the stick to go the stick to go into the hole where the large of the larger piece. Now both pieces are one piece. What you want to do is insert the uh, two hooks um, on the two 
holes of the larger piece and make sure to put it down kind of flat while you're doing this. You don't want the whole plastic piece to be vertical. Okay, now that you have that, uh, the hooks into the holes, push down, or I shouldn't say down, I should say uh, towards the other sticks. And the sticks are down here, so you want to push down uh, in order for the single hook to grab onto the bottom bar of the small piece. Once you have that, actually I use a blade or something thin to, uh, as I push with my hand on the plastic pieces down, I also push down at the very bar. So it's like pushing down uh, even further. Go ahead and get that bar into the hook. Once you have that, you get your key. You put it right in the center and just push down evenly. There you Laptopkey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.